story we're wading through. What's up? We're back here at uh, the place where I dropped the uh, murder caps and centerpieces. We're gonna collect it and gonna have a look and see what it's looking like, and then we'll pop it on the uh, car. So I'm here by uh, Kromut and coated Western Cape in Blackheath and um, what I've done is I've taken off the murder caps as I showed you because I fucked it up big time I um, <laughs> didn't know what I was doing and uh, kind of messed it up so this is what it looks like currently as you can see we've got no murder caps on the on the car I've also removed interior panels on the sides it was vinyl wrapped and uh, that's also being uh, coated. The whole process of the chroming, um, it goes through various stages. Obviously, if you're getting something that looks like that, that's a truck room. That is a lot of work on there. Um, so we've got to take that all off, clean it, um, sandblast it if we can, or we do it by hand. Then once it's been cleaned, nicely then what we do is a base coat and the base coat is done here and that's done by Ray. So this is our little spray root. Primer, your base coat, your clear coat and everything comes on in here. Table. So it's a bit messy right now because we've had quite a lot of film. So your your hundred different form looks like this. It's like paper. But as soon as you put it in the water and we spray our activator over it, then it disintegrates and comes like liquid paint. And that's when we dip it in. Here's your hydro-dipping that we did for your bar. Then this is our hydro-dipping boots. Okay guys, so what I did in mind, I had my, my panels hydro-dipped and I'll show you once it's done, comes out of the, the dryer what it looks like. But basically this is where it goes for that stage of hydro-dipping. So I'm going to let the... Let me explain to you what the process is. Okay, so your um, hydro dipping, Ray, Ray is the Sorry, lady in charge. Um, and what happens is that obviously the same as our chrome, we um, also still got a base coated and prep it so that it is clean and smooth. Then this is the bath where we do it. I'll show you the films that we have. So it's, it's not a case of just going to dip it in the bath. It's, you have to know what you're doing. Yeah. Dip it and then it goes to the rinse because it's like not eating by my paper. This is the film, and then it starts from here, and then it gets rinsed. So, guys, it gets dipped in this bath over here. The foams get blade in here, and um, as you can see, these dividers. So, it gets put in this dipped in here, and then from there, it goes to the station where it then gets rinsed off, and then we move to the next point. Rise. Okay, from there, then it goes back to the spray booth where it gets a clear coat, which is protected, and that clear coat gets baked. Okay, um, this is our oven. Yes, so you can go in. This has also been chromed. Has this been done already or is this in the process of being done? This has been done. It has been chromed. This is actually still a raw chrome. It hasn't got the clear coat on because there's some imperfections here that we're going to have to redo. what it looked like before versus what the other side looks like after the work was done on it. Let's have a look at this. This is what the raw piece looks like before it gets chromed. And you can see it's got black on it and it's been cleaned up. 
and um, I'm gonna watch Chad actually do this and, and chrome this piece and then put you on. there's a water break there. If you had to chrome over that, it will stay exactly how it looks there. It won't chrome over it. I don't know if you can see I don't it. actually think the camera can actually pick it up properly, but yeah. yeah. Um, there we go. You should be able to see the tiny that, droplets. Yeah. Where I'm looking at now and with the light is shining, there's a, there's a break there and it's not properly clean. So what is that grease that's sitting on there? No, it's just the um, heat treatment that wasn't done or that doesn't taste properly. So those problem areas, you just run the torch over it again. changing color there right in front of your eyes from black to the chrome check it out from a black steering up to chrome taking a simple setting up from being dull and black to chromed look at that doesn't that look fantastic so i got my parts uh signed my parts and um yeah uh, it's done let's have to let it cure properly before i install it on the car. 